Hey everybody, what's happening? We're here with Neil, the creator of Bacon Man. Neil, we came out and saw this game last year. Um, tell us about some of the changes from last year to this year. It is almost completely different in the sense that we completely tore down the version that we were building and rebuilt it all the way back up from scratch. What was that like? It was hell. <laughs> of course. It was, it's been a lot of work, but the game's actually on track to be uh, finished for the end of the year, so we're super excited to get it out on Steam. Okay, you guys coming out on Steam. I know that uh, I just recently got some information about you guys coming out on Xbox One as well, right? That's correct. Yeah, we got uh, announced at E3 with Microsoft uh, through their through their YouTube channel. So we'll be coming to Xbox One uh, probably around March of next year if things go right. I know that you mentioned earlier about uh, you switched from the Unreal 3 to the Unreal 4 engine. What were kind of the, some of the development uh, differences there? Oh, sure. Unreal Engine 4 is amazing. So it was actually worth it for us to dump our entire existing code base and start up again from scratch with Unreal 4 uh, because the amount of speed that we got developing levels uh, using things like Unreal Blueprints made a huge difference. So uh, for us, it, it made more sense just to kind of start over, grab the assets from the current version and work it back up again. Uh, just watching Nine play a little bit of Bacon Man, I mean, definitely looks more polished for sure. Gage, what do you think? So how do you think Nine was doing? Was he doing pretty well or? I don't know. I think he needed a little bit of work, but uh, considering he's a Dark Souls fan, I mean, if he's got the <laughs> persistence, he could take another shot at it. I'm not going to judge too much. <laughs> He'll just complain a little bit, but that's all right. So what, what kind of changes have we seen since a year ago? Like, what have you added? What have you taken away? What are we looking at? What's new? Primarily levels. Uh, last year when we brought the demo here, we only had two levels to show off that were really polished enough. Uh, now we have four levels in this demo, but we have a ton of other levels that we have back at home. We didn't want to give the entire game away. Uh, that sort of feeds the purpose, but... Are there any breakfast-based bosses we can expect from this? Uh, breakfast-based bosses. Well, there's definitely. It's a good term. That's a good term. It's a fair it question. Is, I like that. Uh, <laughs> I don't think specifically breakfast, but off the top of my head, you've got bad guys like Queen Cheese, Boss Brock, and his son Broccoli. Yeah, of course. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you do have the toaster gun. Yeah, the toast gun. The toast Absolutely, gun. you got the toast gun, and that's just as powerful. Uh, actually, if anything, we've made it even a little bit harder to use. It doesn't recharge quite as fast. So it keeps you, you can use it to keep you up in the air a little bit, but uh, be careful. You might run out a little faster than you expected. Cool. Well, Will, do you have anything else? Yeah, I just one more question. I mean, you guys have been developing for a while. Um, there's a lot of uh, one-man teams out here at Oticon developing their games. What can you tell some inspiring developers that are just trying to get into the industry? What's the best advice you can give them? Oh, sure. So, uh, just want to make sure, too. We're actually we're not a one-man team right now. There's actually four of us. Um, sure, I, I was just saying. Oh, I got you. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think for any developer that's looking to get into game design, um, build a lot of games first, because I think the mistake that people make is they, we, we have we have years of contract experience, so we didn't just jump in and like start making a game right off the bat. We've we've made a lot of mistakes. We make mistakes all the time, even with Bacon Man, but uh, we iterate and we improve as best we can. And I think also a lot of people say like keep things low in scope, and that's true. Uh, you know, don't overdo it. But also, uh, try to aspire to do something that's a little bit uh, more uh, uh, intensive, either graphically or, or on the programming end. Um, it's good to try something that maybe, even if it hasn't been done before, at least tries to outshine things in some area. Excellent. And any chances of coming to PS4? Uh, I can't confirm that right now, but I can say uh, we are really working on that very, very hard right Could now. be breaking news right here on, on Press Start Whoa. TV. <laughs> Could be. What's the, what's the, what, oh, I'm sorry, what was the release date again? Uh, so the release is going to be for the holidays for the Steam, uh, that's Mac and PC versions. And for Xbox One, that will be uh, early next year. Excellent. Thank you so much, man. Thank really you. appreciate it. Awesome. Thank you very much. Keep it here on Press Start TV.